Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you guys how to root your HTC One M8 on a Mac computer. Now, I will be using an HTC One M7 in this procedure, but that does not matter since the procedure is identical. So I repeat, I will be using an M7 in this video, but the procedure for the M8 is exactly identical. So this is going to be an extremely newbie-friendly tutorial. And I will give you step-by-step -step crystal clear instructions on how to get it done without fail. Rooting your HTC One M8 is a sequential process and it is done in three steps. Okay, so step number one, you have to unlock the boot loader of your HTC One. Step number two, you have to install or flash a custom recovery on your HTC One. And step three, you have to install or flash the Super SU app on your HTC One using the custom recovery that you installed in step two. Now when I say flash, it just means install. So install and flash is the exact same thing. This is just the terminology we use in the rooting world. Anyway, the first step is to go and grab all the files we will be needing to accomplish this task. So let's go grab them and put them all inside one central folder before we uh, start everything else. Okay, so the first step is to go and grab all the files that we need to complete this process. So what I, what I want you to do is go to my website post for which I included a link in the description below. And then once you're at the website post, just scroll down to where it says required files to download for this project. The first thing we are going to get is the Android SDK bundle. Okay, so click that. It's going to take you to this website, and then all you want to do is click download the SDK. So click that, scroll down, agree to the terms, and just click download the SDK bundle. This is going to be a large file, so it may take a couple minutes there. Now the second file that you want to download is the custom recovery. In, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to use the TWRP recovery. It is just as good as the clockwork mod recovery. They are the same, in fact, I really don't have a preference, but I'm just going to do the TWRP recovery for this project. So click this second link. Okay, so this is a list of all TWRPs for every Android phone out there that is supported. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down and find the one that says TWRP for HTC One. Now if you happen to have a Sprint phone, you have to go with this guy. Okay, but if you have any other HTC One, just go with this guy. So click this, and then scroll down, and look for where it says download. And then click download the newest IMG file from here. And then from here, the latest one is actually at the bottom. So click this, and that's going to uh, start your download in 10 seconds. Number three, you need to get the Super SU application, which is going to root your phone. So click that. It is going to take you to this um, website post. Let me just cancel that. And you want to scroll all the way down again where it says download. Skip the first two links. Okay. And then click this link right here that says CWM TWRP blah 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 zip. Installable zip file. So click that. And then at the bottom here it's going to say download update super SU version 1.93 just click that and that is going to start the download this is the latest version of super su uh, in your case if you're watching this video five months from now it may be version 2.5 so just download the latest version available okay so we have all the files that we need at this point okay so now that we have downloaded all the files we're going to organize them really quick so go to your downloads folder and the first thing i want you to do is unzip the ADT bundle file. So let's um, actually just double click on it and it's going to start expanding the file. Okay, once the expansion is complete, I want you to go into this folder, go to the SDK folder, and then find the platform tools folder and copy this folder and paste it on the desktop paste it on the desktop okay 
So let's put this right here. And then I want you to go back to your downloads folder and grab the TWRP recovery, move it over to the platform tools folder and do the same with the update super SU. And then you can actually get rid of this folder right here. So these are all the files we are going to need to complete this process in one convenient location. And now leave this folder alone and we're going to do a couple other things and we're going to come back to that folder in a couple minutes. Okay, so at this point you can go ahead and you can connect your HTC One to your Mac computer. And as you can see I'm using a MacBook Pro but you can do this on an iMac too, obviously. So I'll just connect the phone and then go to Options settings scroll all the way down go to about go to software information go to more click more and then tap the build number seven times to enable the developers options okay so this is a secret menu tap it seven times now we want to go back it says now you're a developer go back back again and one more time back in the settings scroll down and now we have the developers options enabled so tap it click OK and make sure you have USB debugging enabled okay after you have completed this step make sure your phone is still connected to your Mac and you can just leave it as it is and now we're gonna switch over back to our computer alright so the next step is go to your uh, Safari browser and go to the website HTC dev Dot com. On this website, what you need to do is you need to register with this website. To unlock the boot loader of your phone, you are going to have to register with this website. And also, I just want to let you know that now we're in the first step of the procedure. We're about to unlock the boot loader of our phone. So I already have an account, so I'm going to log in right now. Click login and once I'm logged in I'm going to be uh, shown this website and what you want to do is the first thing you want to click is the unlock the bootloader at the bottom here so click this and then click get started okay so from here you want to select the correct device under the supported devices section here so if you click this and if you go all the way, you're not going to see you're not going to see HTC One on this list. You go all the way down and you choose all other supported models. You click that, then you click begin the unlock boot loader process. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And then you have to acknowledge these things. You can read them if you want. I recommend that you do. And then once you're done, click proceed to unlock instructions. You click that and then we're gonna start the unlocking instructions okay so when you're on this home page here I want you guys to skip step one I want you guys to skip step two but make sure you complete step three and all you have to do is make sure your phone is powered on and it is connected to your Mac computer and then step four I want you guys to skip that as well and then click proceed to step five okay so once we're on this website here we are going to follow all the steps as outlined here but as you can see they're using Windows as an example so we're just gonna use the terminal on the Mac so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to launch the terminal just press the search icon on the top right and type in terminal press start and the terminal is on so this is the same thing as this guy this is the Windows version right here this this one right here is the Windows version and the one that you have is the Mac version they're both command line utilities uh, what I want you to do is using the terminal we are going to navigate to this platform tools folder so type in LS which means list it creates a list of all the folders and shows them right here and you want to go to CD which means change directory space you want to go to desktop okay so now we're focused on the desktop and then you want to again type in CD platform tools so now we're focused inside this folder okay and the first thing I want you to do when you're here is type in dot slash ADB 
reboot boot loader and the reason we're doing this is because we want to send the phone into the fast boot mode and from there we can start following these procedures on the website so let me just minimize this and take a look at the phone so when you press enter the phone reboots into the fast boot mode which is gonna look just like this and then you can tell us fast boot because it says fast boot space USB which is highlighted in red so once we're here we just want to make sure that the fast boot is working so type in dot slash fast boot devices press enter if you see a random number with fast boot right next to it that means it is in fact working now we're all good to go so let's go to the website right here put the terminal right here we're gonna do step by step let me keep this over here there we go okay so we're going to type the command that it says says it says type in command prompt fast boot OEM get identifier token so that is exactly what we're gonna do right now except that we have to put the dot slash before we type the command so type in dot slash fastboot OEM get identifier token okay and then press enter and then you're going to get this chunk of data so if you scroll down it's gonna tell you that you're supposed to see that what they want you to do is they want you to select this whole thing so go back to the terminal and to select this you have to type in command and option on your uh, keyboard on your Mac computer so type in I mean press and hold command and option and your cursor changes it to a plus and make sure that you grab it all the way from the top here where it says identifier token start to all the way whoops to the end and as soon as you release it right click copy so you have copied this entire uh, text that they want you to copy and again press option command at the same time and then select this area and then right click to copy okay so once we have copied that we want to scroll down keep scrolling down to step number seven and then they want you to actually paste your token right here so paste your token right here and then click submit now the next thing that happens is you will be getting an email in your inbox with the same email that you use to register for this website uh, and they're gonna send you a small attachment which we're gonna use right now so let's go to my email and grab that little attachment so I went to my gmail account I logged in and I, I, um, I, I went to the email that was sent to me by the HTC dev website and this is it so all you wanna do is you wanna scroll down and you want to download this attachment okay so download it is going to my downloads folder and then do not close the email scroll up and it says click here to continue the boot loader unlocking process and it is exactly what you want to do click this and it is going to take you to step 8 now before we continue with the step 8 minimize everything go to downloads and just grab this unlock code dot bin and copy it and paste it right here okay so everything should be in this folder we wanna we want a centralized location to keep everything in order so we put the unlock code in there and then over here back at the website the HDC dev website what they want you to do you can skip step 8 they want you to send that unlock code to your phone so how do you do that go back to the terminal this guy right here and at this point I want you to type in clear so you can clear this mess on the screen and then type in dot slash 
fast boot flash unlock token space capital U unlock underscore code dot bin okay now remember we are focused in the platform tools folder and we just moved the unlock code bin to the platform tools folder so we're good to go so all we're doing is we're flashing the unlock code dot bin this guy right here to our phone so as soon as I press enter this thing went to my phone now let's look over to to our phone real quick if you look at your phone at this point this is what you're gonna see it's saying unlock the bootloader yes or no of course you're gonna say yes because we're trying to root the phone but I just wanna give a big warning here that um, you are going to lose everything that is on your phone after you do this so I hope you have a backup you know back up your music back up your um, movies back up your pictures everything okay and then once you're ready using the volume up key here volume up key switch to yes and then press the power button to select to say okay so press the power button oops I'm sorry go to yes make sure you're in the yes and then press power Hmm. We're just going to wait for the phone to restart. And then because you did the I told you everything is deleted so you're at the beginning. So this is a fresh copy, okay? So skip all this nonsense, exit and we're at the home page and from here there's one more thing I want you to do one more time I want you to go back to that settings and we're gonna go into the developer options which is disabled right now because we reset the phone so go to about software more tap bill number seven times go back scroll down developer options USB debugging enabled okay so now we can move on to the next steps okay so I just want to clarify at this point that your um, phone you know we already did the step 10 and at the bottom here it says you're ready to go do not uh, do step 11 step 11 reverses the boot unlocking the, the bootloader process so we just unlocked our bootloader and we're done if you follow step 11 it will relock your boot loader okay you don't want to do that because we want to root our phone anyway it says you're ready to go so now we're gonna completely get rid of this website you can actually exit from this website okay now we're gonna completely focus on the terminal uh, right here okay so the terminal is still right there and we're going to run commands directly from here for the rest of this video okay so let's uh, just launch the platform tools folder and keep it right here because we're gonna need the names of the files that you, we want to send over one by one now the first thing you want to do is you want to send the super su file to your uh, HTC one and we're gonna use the command line to do that so all you do is you type in dot slash ADB push okay and remember we are still focused on the platform tools folder so we are working within this folder using the terminal so type in dot slash adb space push and push is just a command to send a file from your PC or your Mac to your uh, phone Android phone so now we're gonna type in this address right this whole file name exactly as it appears I'm just gonna copy and paste the name of the file not the file the name of the file okay so edit paste and you also have to include dot zip so this is exactly what it's gonna look like okay now this is the file we are sending to the phone we also have to specify where in the phone we are sending it so this is all I want you to type slash SD card slash 
press enter and it said that in 0 0.472 seconds that file was sent over no problem now the other thing we want to do is the final thing we want to do is we want to send the custom recovery to our phone we have to flash it though we're not gonna this is a push command so this just sends a file over now we have to actually flash or install the uh, the TWRP recovery right here that we downloaded in the beginning of this video so let's do that right now to do that though we have to go into the uh, boot loader mode into the fast boot mode so let's do that right now ADB reboot type in boot loader okay so this is going to send our phone to the boot loader mode okay so there's the bootloader mode on the uh, on the phone and from here what you want to do is now we're going to use the fast boot commands so dot slash fast boot flash recovery okay and now we're going to type this so let's copy the name of the file edit paste and make sure you include dot img so this thing right here has to be exactly the same over here so what we're doing here is we're we're flashing the custom recovery to our phone okay so make sure you have this command down once you're ready press enter and that is going to send the recovery to our phone and here's the good news we are done with the computer so let's switch over to my phone and finish the process there okay guys so back on your phone you're still gonna be in this uh, in this window what I want you to do is that you can disconnect the phone from the computer so you don't need the computer anymore at all so all you need to do is as you know we were left in the fast boot mode now we can use the volume up or down keys right here on the phone okay to navigate between this menu so let's go to the boot loader so if you navigate see See that so if you go back to just type in I want you to go right here I want you to select reboot boot loader press power there we go okay and then go to recovery okay so this is where our custom recovery has been flashed to press power I want you to press power after you select recovery press power watch this it's saying entering recovery on the top there we go this is the custom recovery that we just insult remember this was step number two and uh, the final step is to flash the super su file that I'm gonna show you where it's at so tap install okay scroll all the way down and this is the file at the bottom it says update super su that we initially and a couple minutes ago we flashed it over from the from the Mac to the to the um, to the phone so tap it okay and then it says swipe to confirm the flash swipe it successful and now your phone is rooted but I'm just gonna show you how you can tell if it is rooted or not so tap reboot system we're finally done but you just have to verify that your super su is working super su allows you to have super user access to your phone that means you've got full control on what can and cannot happen to your phone almost okay so let's uh, unlock the phone go to the app drawer if you scroll down you will see super su right down here okay so this is something we had to flash over it wasn't here in the beginning tap it no thanks for now go to settings make sure super user is enabled that means you do have root access okay so you have super su on your phone your phone is rooted and now you can go and do all the cool things that are root user can do so you can remove applications that you previously were unable to 
uh, removed. Like this AT&T applications that, come pre that they come pre-installed with the phone. And a lot of people don't want them to be there. But you cannot remove them unless you're rooted. Once you're rooted, you can remove these guys using some apps that you can find on the Google App Market. And then other things you can do is you can install custom ROMs and uh, make other modifications, system level modifications to your phone. I'm sure you guys know what to do next. This tutorial is complete. Your phone is now rooted. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.